and welcome back to the Nasty Metal Productions channel here at YouTube, and welcome to another EP review. Now, uh, today's EP uh, review, of course, goes to another Doomsday's Today Records release, and of course, it's for the debut EP from, of course, uh, California-based, or uh, Northern California-based, um, thrash metal crossover band, Chains of Belmont. And of course, it's a self titled uh, EP of course so before I get into the release it's definitely going to, to some backstory in many ways since I always do this again with a lot of my reviews go through give you a little bit, bit of a, a little history or a little bit just to get kind of like you know what went uh, on the band and so on all right so Chains of Belmont again they are a thrash metal crossover band um, based out of Eureka, California, and were formed in 2012. Now, um, as far as that, again, this is their debut uh, EP. So I guess from here, it's uh, since I guess that's really all, all that has to be kind of said. So I guess from here on out, it's time to go into the actual EP it's said, which I'll uh, heading into. All right, so um, the self-titled Chains of Belmont EP. Now this was originally was released. On December 1st, 2019, uh, though according to Metal Archives, it was released on November 13th uh, of 2019. But again, on uh, when looking through, of course, on Chains of Belmont's actual Bandcamp page, it was uh, digitally, uh, it was released digitally on December 1st, uh, 2019. However, for the physical release that Doomsday's Today Records uh, published, well, that was July 3rd of this year. So, now, the actual uh, EP itself. This, of course, again, it's a six-track EP affair that clocks in at 25 minutes and 24 seconds. And just from the opening song, The Belmont, all the way to track number six, that's what she said. This is definitely a fun, just freaking cool as shit. Uh, thrash metal release. This is definitely fan uh, this is definitely great. I mean, it, uh, for a lot of again, when it comes to a modern day thrash metal, some people uh, can complain that it, that it becomes a little too hokey. I think when it comes to uh, Chains of Belmont's uh, brand of crossover or thrash metal, it definitely there is definitely some. Uh, I guess you can say a little bit, bit of a intelligence. I, I won't completely say, but there is definitely something behind them that kind of uh, separates them from the uh, from the more goofier bands of the genre. They definitely seem to have a little, little bit of a, a serious tone, a bit of it. Definitely also an aggressive tone as well. I mean, we're talking about thrash metal over here, okay? Which definitely, it's supposed to be aggressive. And they definitely do not uh, d disappoint in that area uh, again uh, I definitely get going to some of the songs here so I mean again it opens up with the song called the Belmont and again kicks things off greatly and lets you know that you are in for a ride and of course the uh, the second track here uh, governmental abuse is another straightforward thrasher though again this one definitely kind of again when I uh, say that they definitely separate themselves a bit from the hokier or more goofier bands this is definitely one of them because this one definitely has a political twist as the title definitely suggests it definitely is one of those politically uh, charged thrash metal tracks and definitely uh, takes you back to when actual crossover thrash metal bands actually did have at least a little, little bit of that that sort of um leanings uh, lyrical leanings in their songs and of course uh, track number seven or uh, number three I don't know why that's said number seven. I'm just talking a little fast and so on. Ooh. Uh, revolutionize. It definitely, it just keeps the mosh pit going. Toxic Hangover is up next. And, well, it lives up to the title. So, uh, yeah, just another great thrasher. So, uh, while for the most part, uh, this EP is fast and straightforward. But track number six, Burn Through the Change is a cool, epic, six-minute banger that has some great riffs. This track just smokes. And of course, that's what she said. It finishes off the EP in great fashion, just fast and loud. 
Again, like I just stated, every bit of this EP, again, from, again, the six-track affair, uh, it does not live up at, it uh, doesn't uh, let up at all. It actually, uh, uh, I was about to say live up, let up is, my, again, what I, is the best way to put it. It does not slow down completely. I mean, even uh, with uh, the track number five, uh, Burn Through the Change, I think I said track number six uh, for that one. It was track number five. Uh, uh, definitely correcting me on that one. I'm um, correcting myself. I'm allowed to. So again, uh, even with, with that one, even though even on uh, Burn Through the Change, there's still plenty of fast-paced uh, ripper ripping riffs on there. Still, for the most part, this is definitely a thrash banger with a lot of them, again, with them gang-shouting vocals and every bit of that stuff that you tend to really look for. And a thrash release, you definitely get that on here. So here with my rating, it's a 8.55 out of 10. Again, this is a very solid, enjoyable EP. Again, if you're uh, definitely, if you're fans of thrash metal, which uh, most of you who are subscribed to me should definitely, I believe, are uh, thrash metal fans, definitely check out Chains of Belmont. This is fantastic stuff right here. So, and if you want to definitely want to check these guys out, uh, since, of course, me um, babbling on about how good this uh, this EP is, uh, again, I'm leaving you links to both uh, Doomsday's Today Records uh, Bandcamp page where you can purchase this cassette release. But I'll also then leave you a link to, of course, Chains of Belmont's uh, Bandcamp page where you can definitely, if you are signed up with Bandcamp, you definitely can at least can um, like their page, definitely can follow the Chains of Belmont page so you can then be uh, up to date on newer stuff and so on that they are probably are going to be released because I would hope that they are definitely going to be uh, releasing some new material. This is definitely fantastic stuff. I want to see them keep going. So with that, again, um, I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely recommend this. This is Heavy Thrash. Sam out. And I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.